Hello my friends, Ranger Russ from the Meg's Point Nature Center. And I don't know if you, it's focusing on this. Let's flip the camera. I have a praying mantis. So this little insect, although in the insect world it's pretty large, this is a predator. It's been doing its little bob back and forth, which it will do when the wind blows. It's trying to simulate the movement of grasses. It helps hide the mantis. The color can also help. Now, sometimes these can be found brown. Sometimes they're green. They can get a bit larger than this, although this would be good size for a male. And I'm trying to look at the tail. I do not remember how to tell the males from the females. Um, but, oh, did you see that? It just twitched its head really quickly. Usually they move really slowly and deliberately. They are stalking predators. They're always looking for food. And they can give you a little bit of a, of a bite or a... Um, it can hurt a little bit. This thing's really looking around. It's probably deciding if it's going to jump away. They can also fly, which is pretty neat. So we have a beautiful day here at Hammond Acid today. We're just wrapping up our, our small uh, festival celebrating Don Rankin. It's getting ready to go. It's going to leave. And as I was folding up some chairs, I saw this, this mantis. There's the bob. So it's simulating the, the wind moving grasses and plants. And see if it hops away. It's turning, it's lining itself up for a bush. I think it's going to jump. Take a look. So, so the, the body is really big. Those are the wings on the back there. I can't really point to it. Uh, and then it has huge eyes. Look at the size of those eyes. Okay, look at how much larger the head is. Head, abdomen, thorax, remember those are the parts of an insect. The thorax is, is pretty big on these. They've got the giant front legs, which it uses to grab its food, which are other insects. It is a predator. It has excellent camouflage, green or brown. Now, most of the ones that we find here in Connecticut are the Asian ones and they get uh, they are quite a bit more common than the native praying mantis that's just so cool it really looks like something out of a sci-fi movie and I think there were actually movies back in the 50s where they used these as the monsters oh, the wind has just blown the the wings. Let's see if we can get the... There we go. The wind got up behind it. You can see that wing right there. A fly has just landed on my other hand. It's too bad the fly didn't land next to that. It would have tried to eat it. Alright, we're going to return it and let it go. This looks like a good spot right here. Any... Oh, did you see that? It jumped and did a little flight of its wings. Now you can see the wings are exposed under there. That green is just, that green that looks like a leaf is really just a cover to protect the wings. The wings are clear like dragonfly wings. Or if you know what a lace wing is, they, they look kind of like that. And it's just going to hide right there. So very cool praying mantis. I also want to let people know, and I will be doing a, a program on it, we now have a pink katydid here at the Nature Center. And when I say pink, it looks like a pink highlighter. It is that pink. They're not as rare as I thought. I was told that they are one in every 500 will be pink. So if you want to see that, come down to the, to the Meg's Point Nature Center. Sign up online. The best way to get a time slot is to sign up. We are doing online reservations uh, this weekend is probably going to be our last weekend with, with walk-ups, unless the weather stays really nice. Uh, we can still do a few walk-ups, but we're really trying to do it as an online registration, and I'll do an entire program to tell you more about that at some point in the future as well. 
All right. So this is Ranger Russ coming to you from the Megs Point Nature Center with this beautiful praying mantis. And I will see you next time.